You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Tom Brady. And of course, the other day I made that video where Tom Brady sort of shocked the NFL world by doing something he has not done since the moment he had retired, which was even hint at the idea that he was open to an NFL comeback. And the other day, he kicked the door open. He even named two teams, the Raiders and the Patriots. Now, we know he's trying to get NFL minority ownership with the Raiders. That hasn't been done yet, okay? And the league is trying to say, well, if he's got ownership, he can't play. So it's going to be interesting to see how that dynamic works. I tend to contend that NFL owners around the league are going to want Tom Brady back if they can get him back because they understand Tom Brady equals revenue. Revenue does what? It lines their pockets. And they're not, they're not dumb to this, okay? They also understand that if he was to go to somewhere like Las Vegas, what he's going to do to that product out there, not to mention, and this is the thing we did mention the other day, television money. All right, television revenue, because obviously if Tom Brady comes back, it's going to be one of the biggest stories in all of the NFL. It would be the biggest one for 2024. I also contend, and it, 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 there's some agreement from a lot of people around the league in this, that Tom Brady said that the other day to start getting phone calls. All right, to gauge response from around the NFL. And in fact, we can go over here to PFT, and uh, Florio put this article out, and it it's it should be noted that the timing of his comments seem awfully interesting too, because he made a point to do it before the draft. All right, before guys before these teams start drafting quarterbacks, and to gauge interest and in whether or not anybody would want him to be their quarterback. I was surprised that he brought up the Patriots just based on what their roster looks like, all right? Because obviously places like the Raiders, the Vikings are going to have better weapons, right? And the other one that's now getting brought up is obviously the connection between Tom Brady and Sean Payton with the Denver Broncos. And they're probably going to draft a quarterback. The Patriots are probably going to draft a quarterback. The Raiders may draft a quarterback. Most of these teams would draft a quarterback, but he would be a perfect one- to two-year bridge starter. Uh, And he would add a significant amount of revenue to that NFL team and their overall value, value, okay? So, uh, this is already starting to come out. Uh... Patriots would fill Gillette Stadium every week. We all know that. The Raiders would be even better. Commanders would be credible. The Vikings, and that's interesting because you're talking about pairing Brady up with his former teammate, Kevin O'Connell, who's the coach there. All right? Brady mentioned his looming purchase of the Raiders could keep a return from happening, and it definitely would if, when, the owners approve a transition. Uh, that is stalled in pigskin pigskin purgatory. It's kind of odd they didn't feel like that was on their agenda. And there's been some talk. That may not happen for another year or two, his ownership. All right? Brady didn't retire because he lost his skills and ability. He said after announcing his retirement that he still wants to play. Well, his intention was to play. We've talked about that. He was supposed to go join Josh McDaniels and the Las Vegas Raiders. And then all of a sudden, and people don't know why, people don't know if it was something around Giselle or what it was, or the kids, but he pivoted and retired abruptly. All right? So nobody can forget this. When this was going on, a lot of people were saying, this isn't true. Tom Brady and Sean Payton are not going to the Dolphins. And and ESPN wouldn't even cover it. Well, guess what? The NFL had to stamp, step in. 
nailed the Dolphins with tampering violations because, yes, Tom Brady and Sean Payton to the Dolphins was a true story. It was going to happen. Now, that's also the reason Brian Flores is suing the Dolphins because he got wind that he was losing his job and that Sean Payton was going to replace him. I think it's a bogus lawsuit. Sorry, I think NFL owners should be able to hire anybody they want to hire. Uh, also, and I believe it's in this article uh, somewhere, um, but either that or I saw it earlier, there are already betting lines going up. DraftKings put it out there for Tom Brady coming back. And the Patriots and the Raiders are the two top ones, okay, as potentials for Brady to make this return. Now you got Denver media saying, well, look, Brady was going to join Sean Payton with the Dolphins. They are going to draft a quarterback. They need a bridge. So now that's starting to surface in Denver, the idea that he might go play for Sean Payton for a year or two, let a, let a guy sit behind there and develop. Uh, the problem is you got Cortland Sutton. Now they could certainly draft wide receivers, et cetera, or they could even pull off a trade. But you've traded Jerry Judy. And my feeling is, and this is why, unless – Brady is willing to come back and, for example, go to the Patriots and just say, I want my final year or two to be full circle. Belichick's gone. I know Gerard Mayo really well. I can run that offense. There's not a lot of weapons, but I'm just coming back to play. All right? And he's not worried about winning another Super Bowl. Whereas if he goes to the Raiders... The uh, Raiders are stacked on offense, and we know after last year they got a good defense. So that's a Super Bowl contender if Tom Brady shows up on that Raiders team. All right, so we know what he said the other day. He's not opposed to it. And uh, he was talking about the ownership part, and he mentioned the Patriots, and he mentioned the Raiders. Now, a lot of people are believing, oh, here's the odds right here. If he does return, the Patriots are plus 250 followed by the Raiders uh, and the field at plus 400. The Niners are at plus 800. I would close the book on that. Brock Purdy was too good last year. So you're not going to pivot and, and, and make him your guy. All right? But Denver Media is bringing this up. Why would the Broncos even be in the mix? Coach Sean Payton. It wouldn't be the first time these two have been connected. Dolphins owner Stephen Ross was suspended part of last season fined $1.5 million, and the team docked a 2023 first-round pick and a third-round pick in this year's draft for illegally tampering with Brady and Peyton as he t- was tied to coming to Miami. So that's interesting. I didn't think about that the other day when I made the video, but, yeah, the Broncos, because of all of that, they make a little sense, too. Now... The Patriots would be very, it would be a good story. I did not mention this the other day. I should have. If Tom Brady comes back, let's say, for example, Tom Brady goes back to the Patriots. Does Rob Gronkowski come out of retirement to go back to the Patriots? Okay, if he could still play, that's a weapon. You got Hunter Henry. Well, then you got two tight end sets. We know Tom Brady loves to run that. All right. Pop Douglas, maybe, but they could certainly draft Marvin Harrison Jr. (laughs) I mean, that could happen, all right? And, yeah, their offensive line's not great, but Brady's got the quickest release in all of football, too, all right? And so that's something to think about there. The Bucs' offensive line wasn't great, even when they won the Super Bowl. I think the running game would be better with the Patriots, I don't know. I I still think the Raiders would be with that connection with Mark Davis, but Brady may just want to bring it full circle. I don't know. But I do believe it was calculated that he put it out there to see if his agent would start getting phone calls from football teams. Let's gauge the market. Let's see what's going on. Because he doesn't have to come back. He wouldn't have to show up till July. 
He wouldn't. He wouldn't have to show up until July. And then he could figure it out, and and by the third or fourth game of the year, uh, whatever team he's playing for, uh, he'll be off and rolling. We're certainly going to watch it. Tell me what you think. Hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.